Right then, welcome to another vlog from my room of junk, junk room. Um, bit of a different video today. No unboxing to do. Today is Tuesday. Today is my day off work. Um, no cycling yet today. Even though today's a rest week. Today's a rest week. This week is a rest week or recovery week. I did want to do a couple of hours today. And I wanted to do it this morning. It is now 10 to 2 in the afternoon. So it's about 1.50 p.m. Still not done any cycling. Because I've been waiting for the phone to ring. I've been waiting in all morning so far, waiting for this flipping phone to ring. Because my repeat prescription from the GP had this, don't know whether you can see that, red stamp on the bottom repeat prescription reminder please would you come and see the doctor before your next prescription is due so i gave them a call this morning when they opened at eight o'clock and um spoke to the receptionist asked for a doctor's call me back we used to do like a call back service my wife had it last week the gp called her back yep yep everything's still okay reissue the prescription so i've been waiting for that they've still not called back so I was told this morning that they'd ring back and I've been waiting and waiting around they didn't dare go out not dare do anything not dare go on Zwift in the garage in case they ring and they've still not rung so that is now five hours later six hours later six hours later isn't it so six hours I've wasted really frustrating this afternoon now um, we're due the kitchen fitter to come round at half past three. Bagsy, I'm the one that's in, so I've the one that's got to wait around for him to come so I can show him he wants to look at a few things before the kitchen's done in a few weeks. So what I thought I'd do while I'm here, in the last vlog, I mentioned about the new Garmin 520 Plus that I bought and how I don't like it as much as my old one. Oh, there's a buzzard up there, buzzard just cruising around. Um, and I was talking to somebody in the comments and talking about things, I can't remember what I was talking about exactly, but there's my Garmin 810. I have a tendency to hang on to old tech that long, or new tech, I tend to hang on to it that long, that when it comes to a point to trying to sell it, it's not worth anything. So I have a tendency to um, hang on to it. So I thought I'd show you a few of the things that I've still got. So here, first of all, polar bag, heart rate monitor. This isn't my first one because my first heart rate monitor that I started using, I was time traveling and it fell off the handlebars and got run over by a truck behind me, so it got smashed. And I replaced it with this polar. Don't even know what it is. So an old Polar watch, doesn't work anymore, probably if I put a new battery in it it would, so it's just a standard heart rate monitor. don't think you could do anything, anything with that one other than look at the averages afterwards, I used to use that a lot. Then I bought this one, so this came with software and it would transfer via infrared to the computer and download things and set your zones and everything. So this is a Polar S610i. Is that one? So again, still got that one. Don't know what's in here. Probably nothing. Probably just the software disks and stuff. Yeah, it's just the heart rate strap and then various different bits of software. Then after that, I bought this next one. So here we have a Cyclo Sport HC4 Plus. That was um, a bike computer, but it came with a Velcro strap and you could wear it on your wrist. And again, software, so you could download everything. It had temperature on this one as well. go 
that's that one. Um, that had a little, I can't remember the name of the port, but it would plug into the computer, click it in, and it would download the data from your ride. All the buttons are going sticky now. Why are the buttons going sticky? These buttons are sticky. Maybe the rubber's starting to degrade. Anyway, um, cadence sensor. It had temperature on it. This is the bike computer that Lance Armstrong used for his training. For being about the two th early 2000s. Then from that, I think I went to an early Garmin. 2 or 5 would it have been? I had 2 or 3 of them. I had problems with water ingress, had one replaced under warranty. That worked for a while, just out of warranty, that failed. Water got in that again, then that was replaced, just out of warranty. And then I sold that one and bought my 705. I've still got Garmin 705. My son uses that one. Then I replaced that with my Garmin 810 and of course now we have up to date 520 plus when I started doing triathlons I bought a wearable run watch triathlon watch multi-sport watch so this is a 320 XT again my son uses that one sometimes so he's been borrowing that that was no good swimming you couldn't swim with it and if you tried putting it under your hat it wouldn't pick up the satellite signal very well so then i eventually replaced that with a 920 xt you can swim with this on your wrist still not great at picking up the satellite signal in the water your tracks would be all zigzag and everything and again if you put it under your hat that worked that time because i'm not doing triathlons anymore i am going to sell this one I might sell that one, but I won't get anything for that. I'll get like 20 quid for it or something. So it's probably more use to let my son use it. But that I, I will be selling. Um, this one, at the moment, I'm still using this, keeping this for another few weeks because I want three devices that are all Garmin that will record fit, div fit files so that I can compare the McGean Ridge parameter that I bought recently to the Paratap hub, the G3 hub, and to um, the Favero Asiomas. So I'll need three to do that, so I'm keeping that for a little while. Then I'll be selling that one. And then today I had also a plan to get on to start putting some of my wheel collection up for sale and other bike bits up for sale, because I want to do that now. I've recently finally had the money come through for one of my cars that I sold. So I had a very old Land Rover that um, wasn't at home. It had been moved down to Gloucestershire, Forrester Dean area, to its new owner. That went two years ago. Sent him the V5 and he kept forgetting to pay me and kept forgetting and hadn't done the V5. Well, he's finally paid me, so now I'm down to, we're down to two cars. Um, just the wife's car and my car so I'm going to start selling some of the old car stuff related to that old Land Rover that I had that's all piled up behind me on these shelves as well all old books and magazines and I need to clear all this so yeah I've got plenty to do today and I hope to get onto that but because I've been waiting around for this phone call it just hasn't happened so yeah I don't like being on the edge of your seat waiting for a phone call or waiting for somebody to arrive Anyway, enough of me rambling on and waffling. Just wanted to say before I go, I can't believe the growth of the channel. So thank you to everybody that's subscribed from the beginning, all along, in the distant past, in the recent past, and more recently, like this week and in the last few days. Thank you so much. So, yeah, great. Remember, to be in with a chance to win... The competition for the 500 subs giveaway, you've got a comment in the 500 subs competition video. So comment below, you're in with a chance of winning that. So I'll leave it at that for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next vlog.
later in the week, hopefully when I'm back on the, on, back out on the bike. Oh, I can see a tractor, and it's a red one. Anyway, see you later.